Hello everyone, I'm Food for Dogs and I'm back with Dragon Star Veneer. Uh, you may ask why, because I've already done quite a lengthy unboxing. Uh, the reason is that I had a comment from one of my subscribers called CT, I only have the initials CT, so um, that's who it is, and he uh, commented about the um, uh, graphics in the game and I thought, oh, I, I thought I'd covered the artwork in my unboxing video. Um, and I went back and had a quick look. And no, I have not talked about the artwork. That's me, the scatterbrain. Um, so I thought I'll quickly try and remedy that. And in the process, I realized I actually still had some notes that I kept for Varnier and I keep my little bits of paper here so that I don't forget what I want to say. Uh, and one of the things I forgot to point out about the Dragon Star Varnier Limited Edition is that the cover for the game case is reversible. So you can choose which side you want. And that's always a cool little feature. I know there are uh, quite a few of you out there who are reversible cover fans. So obviously that's important and I needed to mention that. So now the, uh, the art in Dragon Star Veneer, um, we talked about that, that it is very detailed and, and very beautiful, I think. Um, Artists, of course, don't spring out of nowhere. Um, they develop. It's an it's an evolution of their of their skill, craft, and talent. Um, and the two main artists for Dragon Star Veneer, I've been able to find out, were K Nanameda and Katsuyuki Hirano. Now I had a quick look which of the games I've got that showcase their artwork previously so that you can see a bit where they've come from and where they've ended up today. So Kei Nanameda is uh, the better known artist, I think. Uh, he's got uh, quite an illustrious history, including uh, his main projects include the, um, the Mary Skelter series. I've got the Vita game. Um, uh, Trillion for NIS and the death end request which is a recent game together with dragon star veneer this year uh, but i haven't got death end request or i should say not yet so there's something to watch out for uh, so k nanameda has done a lot of work for idea factory and uh, he started out, or at least that I'm aware of, with the Mugen Souls series on the PlayStation 3. And he's also been involved with uh, Fairy Fencer F as a sub-character designer. Uh, now, I've covered Fairy Fencer F in another video, uh, but if you have a good look at the cover artwork here, I think you can see the similarity because this is a slightly more recent game. I think there's a lot of similarities between Fairy Fencer F and Dragon Star Veneer. So this is one artist and his influence on the game. And now we'll have a quick look at the um, other artist, um, Katsuyuki Hirano. Uh, he's worked on quite a number of games too, and is particularly well known for the Agarest series on PlayStation 3, and that's three games. Um, so he's worked on those. He's worked on a PSP game, Spectral Souls. 
and um, another set of games he's been involved with, um, especially for the Vita, for handhelds, is the Moy Chronicle. I think there's more than one. I've only got uh, one game, uh, but I think there's another one in Japan. And the Genkai Toki series, and I've got the Seven Pirates edition here. So if you look at the um, the artwork on, on these, you can probably also see influences and how all that has been feeding into the artwork for Dragonstar Veneer. So I find it quite interesting um, sort of trying to track backwards and see where people have come from and what they are doing today. And uh, we, I think we will have a very interesting time once I get Death End Request and we can have a good look at the artwork there. Um, that was really all I wanted to um, do today. This was specially for CT. Thank you for your comment. It, uh, it reminded me that I'd forgotten to mention certain things. And in closing, uh, I just want to point out that I'm very slowly working on things for this channel. Um, if you're on a PC or a laptop uh, watching YouTube, you can probably see a sidebar. And in that sidebar is something called Featured Channels. And I've put in there a selection of the channels that I regard to be the best of the best, really. They're, they're, they're the finest, in, in my opinion, especially where RPGs are concerned. Uh, but the people running those channels are exceptional, in my opinion. And I would encourage you to browse around. You may find um, a channel or two that you really enjoy. Um, so I just wanted to mention that if you're not on a PC and you're on a phone, then you probably have to click the tab at the top called um, uh, channels and you should find the featured channels there. So that was all for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye bye.